It's Beer O'Clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got something a little bit special. It's been sent by our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk. I cut the bottom of the bubble wrap, but I wanted to leave it as a bit of a surprise to see what we get here. And it's part of my 2000 beer reviews celebration. I'm just about to hit 2000 reviews on YouTube. It's been five years, or over five years in the making. Um, reviewing most, putting beer reviews out most days. Um, it's been a lot of fun. So I, I kind of, I've been in discussion with my channel sponsor. I said, hey, uh, would you like to take part in, in something kind of a bit of a milestone for me because it's been a lot of hard work. And they said, of course, yes, we will. Uh, so they sent me two really special beers. Uh, one I've just reviewed and it was absolutely amazing. That was for my 2000s. And they've sent me this. So, what is it? Uh, I'll let you guys see it first, and then I'll. Uh, oh, I might be able to read it backwards for you. From Boozen Beer Leafmans. Yeah, from Boozen Beer Leafmans. Now. I believe this is going to be something quite special because it wasn't on the delivery note. There was the nine beers that the company stocks and then it was the two beers that probably came from the owner's private hoard of beer. Um, it's, I believe it's been discontinued. I believe it didn't get made anymore. And well, yeah, without further ado, what have we got here? Let's get it out. And, and see what we get. So uh, I will keep this nice bit of paper. Oh, look at this. Okay, so it's corked. It's a lovely corked bottle. And I do like the, these frambos and beers. I do like the, the way they kind of wrap them in the paper. It is kind of very nice. I'll add that into the thumbnail, the picture that I put up. So, looks like it goes off in 20, 2018. Wow. So we don't need the bottle opener. This is a, uh, they do scare me a bit, these, these old corks. I've had one go off on me terribly in the past. Right. Here we go then. Let's get it open. Here she goes. So there's the cork. It hasn't corked. There's no cork in the bottom. It's um, a little bit of corkiness going on there. A little bit of liquid residue. And here is the beer. Wow, look at this. Spin it up, see if it's bottle conditioned. It's a lovely colour, really dark brown coloured beer. Little bits and pieces floating round look inside that glass. Lovely carbonation, one finger head, dark coloured beer. Let's get the aroma. Wow, and this has got a sense 
Oh, I have a sense that this beer has been aged. It's quite an old bottle. It smells woody. You still get a lot of that lovely fruit cherry. Aroma, but I suppose it's a little bit stuffy, that's the word. And that's, that's the only way I can kind of work out that this beer has been aged, or in my mind I'm telling myself that it's been aged. It smells fantastic. I didn't give you the ABV, I'll get to that in a moment. Oh my goodness me. Oh wow. That is absolutely fantastic. Wow, loads of raspberry in there. It's 4.5% ABV. There you go. Four point five percent. Look at the way you rock the beer back and forth. Look at the quality. Look at the way that carbonation is chasing the head of the glass. What is done? I'd like to know the how old this beer is. To be honest, is what is done. It's made it velvety. It's made it very luxurious. The beer's lost a lot of its carbonation. But what is gained from losing that carbonation? It's just a super smooth, slick beer. And that that helps that, that cherry. That for me, it's, it's, it's more of a velvety cherry flavour rather than a, a big kind of, these beers are normally big and booming and carbonated. I like the both, I like a fresh bottle. This is the first time I've had an aged bottle and I've got to be honest, it's, it's really nice, it's really, really nice. It's more like drinking a, a cherry fruit drink. Nice malts in there. That's like kind of, it brought on a kind of a, more of a woody character to the beer as well, mixed with that that cherry and that raspberry. Really nice, really nice beer. It's just one big kind of fruity bomb. Lovely, lovely stuff. As you can see on the beer, you can see that carbonation rising up the side, so it's not completely flat, but it's just got a lovely velvety smooth feel. So, raspberry, frambuzen beer, I've been saying cherry, um, it's, it was giving off like a cherry taste, um, I've just been standing in a bit miffed as to, as to, I suppose it's just the aging process of the beer. You do, it, it's raspberry and kind of cherry, it's, it's one big kind of clump of flavour. I know they're quite different when they're fresh, but with the beer being aged, it's just kind of thrown me a little bit. So that's the Leafman's from Booze and Beer then. Four point five percent ABV. How do I rate it?
I think it's a really nice beer. Fantastic stuff. Has it developed in itself with the aging? Yes, absolutely. Because, as I mentioned, it's lost some of its carbonation, but it's gained a kind of a slick, smooth flavour. So for that reason, I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I think it's a 9 out of 10 beer. Thanks for watching. Check out beersreview.co.uk. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.